Hello guys. Today we will talk about volcanicity again, but this time we will be referring to extrusive volcanoes. In a previous lesson, we actually talked about intrusive volcanic features, which was well explained and is going to permit us to continue this lesson today. We talk about extrusive volcanic features what we call volcanoes please i just want to urge those who have not yet subscribed onto my channel please do so and also remember to press the notification bell so that we continue to enjoy and send to you more uh, 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 more exciting videos on geographic aspects so let's get started in this video, we are going to actually be describing to you what extrusive volcanoes are and uh, as well as bring out the various types of extrusive volcanoes. Just to begin, I want to say here that a volcano actually is a shape or a landform that results from the solidification of lava, which has been exposed onto the earth crust during a volcanic process or a tectonic process of volcanicity. Now, these are very common around seismic regions where plates actually converge or diverge from each other or where plates slip past each other. They result to the formation of these various landforms since it has to do with the upwelling of molten material which actually forces itself out from cracks or vents and outpour itself on the surface of the earth where it cools to form various lava cones as well as ash and cinder cones which shall be well explained in this video. So let us begin by looking up at the various types of volcanoes. There are four basic types of volcanoes which we will try to explain here or distinguish here and they include we will talk about the acidic lava or the acid lava cones. They are also referred to as the Pelian type since they are very common around Mount Pele. And these, these cones, actually we are going to describe them with the diagram. We will talk about basic lava cones, also called the high one type or the shield volcano. We will look at ash and cinder cones and as well as the composite cones. So you are once more welcome to the channel. Please, this is where all your problems are going to be answered, your questions, your queries. So please watch the video right at the end. And remember to subscribe, remember to uh, comment on the video since it's going to help to boost up uh, uh, geographical knowledge in the world. Now, let's begin. Let's get started with the acidic lava cones. Acidic lava cones actually they are called acidic because of the nature of the volcano that is being formed from the emission of molten material being exposed and solidified on the earth crust. Now, what are the characteristics? We are going to see here basically that these are very narrow based volcano with very huge height. These volcanoes actually are formed from very effusive and very, very uh, uh, thick or better still viscous magma, which is being upward or lava, sorry, which is being upward or which is being emitted from the central vein where it cools and solidify to form this very huge volcanic landform. Now, what account for the huge height? The fact that the lava contains very low temperatures and low amount of gases actually makes it very, very or limitedly immobile since it has to roll over very short distances before it cools and solidify, which means it has to build more, it builds more of the mountain, increasing its height. Such volcanoes are very common with volcanic plunks than craters. They have very steep convex slopes. 
as well as they, com they, are, comp they are composed of layers of solidified acid lava, which cools and cools from which cool and solidify during a, a volcanic eruption. They are very much common around plate margins of convergence, where two plates actually meet each other. In this case, we could be looking at continental continental plate meeting to form fold mountains. We are looking at where continental and, and oceanic plate meet, where mountain chains are being formed on the continent. And uh, we discover here that the, 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 the volcano will end up being twisted and increased in height. Now, they are called uh, uh, the, the Pelian type of volcano since they are very common around the Mount Pelier. And uh, the Himalayas is also a very common example of this type of volcano. Now, let us also talk about, we have done with acid lava cones. Let us see what the shield lava cones are. We call them shield because they look like uh, uh, an area that offers uh, a defensive site for sediments to live on. And they are also called basic lava cones because the lava is less acidic. The lava contains more gases. It is more fluid in nature. When it is when it is being poured onto the earth's surface, it will be forced to move. It contains a lot of gases which are bubbling and permit its mobility, which can move over very long distances before it cools to solidify to form this very broad based a lava cone or the broad the broad based volcano as we see in this video now since the lava has to flow over very long distances before it cools and solidify it ends up resulting to a very low height of the volcano as well as a very gentle slope of the volcano such basic lava cones are often characterized with deep craters around them and these deep craters at times may contain or may, may have a collection of water to form what we call a crater lake. So that, that is a basic that is the basic characteristics of a basic lava cone. Unlike the acidic lava cones which are formed uh, at plate margins of convergence, the basic lava cones are rather more than more common around plate margins of, of divergence, where plates actually drift away from each other, as we can see by the arrows at the base of uh, the volcano. The, since since this is very common, this is more more common around Haiwan. It is always referred to as the Haiwan type of, of volcano. Now the next the next uh, type of volcano we are going to describe here is the ash and the cinder cones. Ash, just like the ash we get from the kitchen, firewood fire, firewood kitchen, uh, as well as cinder. Cinder refers to broken rocks, broken rocks which are being break down into pieces due to the high temperatures. Now, these are very, very uh, 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 violent eruptions eruption that occur, which sends out boulders, it sends out uh, 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 fire broken rocks, volcanic bombs, which goes up above 40 meters high in, uh, 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 in the atmosphere, where, where before returning, it has scattered or it has actually uh, 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 split it into smaller rocks, what we call cinders, where they fall up on the ash and gradually uh, accumulate or agamate to form the, the cinder, the ash and cinder layers of this volcano. So this 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 volcano is actually is a type. This is a type when uh, uh, the, 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 the 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 volcano emits basically ash and uh, broken rocks to form this type of a volcano. They are characterized with very steep con con uh, concave slopes. Their slopes are very similar to the, the Haiwan type of volcano, but for the fact that they are very steeper as compared to the Haiwan type of volcano. Now, they also have uh, uh, deep craters, as uh, just like that of the, the Haiwan type, or what we call a shield or the basic lava cones. Lastly, we are going to talk about a composite volcano. Now, composite, they are called composite. Composite meaning that it, uh, 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 we have uh, uh, two types of uh, uh, volcanic processes occurring here uh, uh, simultaneously, or so, sorry, uh, uh, it can occur at different time interval. 
here we, we are looking at a situation whereby at one moment the volcano can emit basically lava which will call to, to form lava layers on the volcano and another moment the volcano might send out basically ash and cinder cinder cinders or broken rocks which actually precipitate on the this, this solidified layer of lava and thereby forming uh, uh, alternate bands or layers of ash and ash and cinders as well as lava co lava layers and as you see on the diagram there we have uh, uh, other features there like the parasitic cones which are very small conelets which develops due to the emission of of uh, uh, lava through sub vents or mini mini vents unlike the, uh, the eruption that comes out from the central vein so this actually is uh, very common in Cameroon where we have the, the Mount Cameroon uh, it, is a, it is a composite volcanic cone characterized uh, uh, with both ash and cinder uh, 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 layers as well as lava layers now it doesn't matter which lava we're talking about here whether basic or acidic lava the characteristics of this this volcanic cone is just the fact that it, at one moment it sends out uh, a lava purely lava where it cools and solidify in, a, and in another moment it sends out basically ash and, and cinder and cinders where they precipitate actually on top of the the solidified uh, uh, layer of la lava and thereby building up the volcano with different layers of ash and lava so i hope the video today actually has given you an interesting uh, understanding on uh, volcanicity, extrusive volcanicity, and the various uh, 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 the various landforms that might be produced from this uh, uh, extrusive volcanic volcanic uh, processes. Now we also have what we call a volcanic plateau, which we shall talk more on our previous videos. Previous, previous videos will come in also uh, so, sorry uh, more videos will be brought brought to us about the basic differences between lava and magma it's very important that we understand on what lava is and what magma also is we are going to talk about basic differences between basic lava as well as acidic lava for us to get a, a, a better comprehension about this concept in geography i hope you've watched and understood much about uh uh, volcanicity please subscribe and share my videos let them go viral to those who have not yet had and so that they can also watch and and subscribe i continue to be so grateful to uh, 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 to you out there for always patronizing my videos so please don't always forget to watch each time i send to you thank you very much and have a blessed day